Our first guest on To Tell the Truth is the youngest person ever to pilot an airplane across the United States. What is your name, please? My name is Kern Buck. My name is Kern Buck. My name is Kern Buck. Only one of these young men is the real Kern Buck. The other two are imposters and will try to fool this panel. Tom Poston, Betty White, Orson Bean, and Kitty Carlisle on To Tell the Truth. <laughs> this portion of To Tell the Truth is brought to you by Measuring, the eight-hour aspirin, New Measuring. And now here's our host on To Tell the Truth, Bob Collier. Thank you and welcome again to To Tell the Truth. Good afternoon, Tom. Good afternoon. Hey, Bob. Uh, you're not only a sight for sore eyes, but you're just a joy to be with. All right. In front of you, you'll find today's envelopes, the contents of which you have not as yet seen, but look at the one marked with the number one. Follow along with me. I, Kern Buck, am the youngest person ever to pilot an airplane across the United States. With my younger brother as navigator, it took us five and a half days in my $300, 23-year-old Piper Cub. Since my plane cannot fly higher than 10,000 feet, flying through 11,000-foot mountains was a bit of a problem. We threaded our way through the passes with peaks towering above us on all sides. Over the deserts, we stayed as close as we could to major highways. For navigation, we relied on dead reckoning because all we had on board was a simple compass. We didn't even have a radio. After spending several days on the West Coast, we turned around and flew back again to complete our total trip of 7,500 miles. Signed, Kern Buck. <laughs> Right, we'll start our questioning with Kitty Carlisle. Kitty. Thank you, Bud. That's absolutely fantastic. Remarkable, and whoever you are, congratulations. You pushed back the frontiers of flying <laughs> quite a ways. Uh, number one, how old are you? 17. Uh, number two, what is the uh, flying age for uh, a pilot's license? 17 years old. All, is, it, is it uniform across the country? Yes. Everyone. Uh, number three, how old was your brother? My brother is 15. Uh, number one, how did you learn to read the compass? My father's a pilot. I learned from him. Oh, your father's a pilot. Number two, how long have you been flying then? For two years. Number three, where did you start from? I started from Syracuse, New York. Thank you. Uh, number one, what did you take on board with you besides the ordinary equipment? Uh, we carried two sleeping bags, two canteens of water, and uh, about six Hershey bars. <laughs> Tom Poston. No girls? <laughs> No, number one, can you turn an airplane with a rudder alone? No, you cannot. Uh, does that mean you shouldn't or you can't, number one? You shouldn't. Number two, can you turn an air airplane with the aileron alone? No, you can't. Does that mean you can't or you shouldn't? You can't. Uh, number three, do you know what uh, an ETA is? Estimated time of arrival. Thank you. Number three, do you know what an omni is? An omni is a beam, a radio beam, which you can follow to uh, reach your destination. Is that what you use, number three? Yes, sir. No, sir, I did not. I had no radio. Number two, uh, what, what is contact flying? Do you know? Contact flying is flying from point to point on the map. Thank you. Betty White. Thank you, bud. Kern buck, that means two of you are counterfeit bucks. That's pretty interesting right there. But <clears throat> number two, how did you land in and out of air... Uh, airports without a radio? On the uh, runway, they have a directional signal, and I came in that way. So number one, that means at no time you were in contact with any tower? No. Number three, how many stops did you make? Uh, the whole trip? Mm -hmm. 52. That's one a week. Uh, number one, how, um, how, what pass did you use to get through the Rocky Mountains? Uh, we went by the southern route. Uh, so we hit as little mountains as possible. Uh, number two, what, how did you get across the Rocky Mountains? I went through the Guadalupe Mountains and uh, through the San Diego Mountains. 
And number three, how did you make it? Guadalupe Mountains and the San Diego Mountains. Oh, yeah, I thought you went under. I said, thank you. <laughs> Arson <laughs> Number one, uh, how long did the trip take? 28 days. Uh, number three, is that right? Yes, sir. Did you, did you have to get your parents' consent, or if you're 17, you can just take off legally? Well, my father was a pilot, and uh, he was four, but my mother really wasn't, so I called her every night. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> uh, number two, uh, just Hershey bars? Didn't you take any peanut butter and marshmallow sandwiches along, or other no. things that boys enjoy? Nothing at all? Unfortunately. We ate at the airports. Yeah. Did you have to wire ahead for permission to land at each place? Yes, we did. We filed a uh, flight plan. Oh, you filed a flight at plan? At each airport. N number one, did, were you able to stick to the flight plan? Uh, usually. Usually? What, when weren't you? What happened? Uh, well, if we ran into weather, we didn't. Yeah. Number three, did you have any narrow squeaks? Only some, two minor ones. Uh, we opened the window, which caused one, the other window to blow out on the port side. Did you go flying out like Goldfinger there? <laughs> no, it was no, it was no large problem.